took a look at. <laughs> oh, we have a school of some type of fish. <laughs> Can't quite see that one. They are really small, a bit hard to make out. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Might be some type of sprat. So, so sprat is like your white baits or blue baits to, any, to any recreational fishers listening. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, so this is the Western Talma fish. So those there, they've got your Western Talma and looks very similar to the Eastern Talma. And the, to tell the difference is that the Western Talma has a shorter, uh, shorter filament on the dorsal fin. So they have real pointy noses so they can get into the cracks between rocks and pick off little invertebrates and algae as well, which looks like one might be doing now. And there uh, are your brownfields wrasse there. They are all quite hard to tell the species when they're so small, but that's green and white, then it should be brownfields wrasse. And then that's your black spotted wrasse there with the white stripe on its caudal. And then the wrasse behind the scaly fin, or the damsel there, looks like the female of the brown spotted wrasse, which is why we saw the male just earlier. Hi divers, how are you doing and is there much surge at the moment? Okay, give me one more time. How's the surge? Yeah, the surge is okay, it's bearable. Uh, oh, okay, we've got some very inquisitive fish to watch out. So, you can see how this the scaly fin or that damselfish is coming up to the camera. So that's actually, it's been territorial, trying to scare away the diver from its little home. Yeah, damselfish are pretty cool. I think we explained last week when someone asked, um, they actually weed out um, the species of algae that they don't want to eat so that they can create their own little garden of food of the species that do they do oh. prefer to eat within their territories. Oh, what a beauty! So we have a harlequin Harlequin fish on screen at the moment. So that one there, uh, having the yellow spots underneath would suggest that it could be a female. Uh, so when they have, if they have blue spots underneath, it would be a breeding male. So males sometimes have uh, blue spots underneath, but also those uh, harlequin fish are one of two species in, of codfish in the world that do not change sex. So we could, I could, uh, I'm guessing it's a female, but it's very awesome that there's, and the other, but there's two species of cod in the, only in the world that do not change sex and the other one being the break sea cod which are both endemic to temperate Western Australia. There's also one of my favourite fish because they're very ferocious hunters. So they're ambush predators and as you can see it blends into the reef really well and it'll wait there till a fish will swim past in front and then it's got two, it's got big teeth that will sort of lunge out and uh, snap up its prey. So that pink fish there is the male version of the Chorus ocularis or Western King Wrasse. So those females that you would have seen before, I'd say that it's at school that it's uh, that it'll be swimming with. Uh, but I've seen once actually a harlequin fish with a wrasse about the same size inside its mouth, uh, just trying to digest it, just sitting there, which is pretty impressive.